Hey everyone, it's M4J here, and welcome back to City Skylines. Uh, and we are here back in Blue Vale. You might have seen a train leaving there on the line out towards Blue Shores. We got a little bit of traffic problems building up here, but hopefully by the end of the next couple of episodes, that will have mostly been resolved. This is the yards then. We've got the yards north, which is over here, and we've got the yards south, which is down here. Both of which are slowly building up their populations. And we're getting to a stage where we can start looking at this area here, which is definitely going to be our central business district area. These streets here that you can see, uh, they're going to be um, downgraded, upgraded. I don't know what you'd call it. They're not going to be these pedestrian streets anymore. If I come over here, you will see our pedestrian area actually ends at this, uh, this complex here. So we're going to, actually we're even going to um, remove this section because we don't need that. We'll keep the path. Or the, you know, the promenade bit here because that looks kind of nice. But the rest of it we will get rid of. Also this railway line here, we are hopefully going to reroute at some point in the future as well. Speaking of railways, we had the problem with the old station not allowing any intercity traffic. I thought I'd fixed it. I swapped it out for this station here. Um, which I've now named, temporarily named it the Yards. That may change in future. And we did actually have a number here at one point. Now it could just be that no one sees this as a viable station to come into right now. Transport links and whatnot not quite being up to scratch. But for the most part, um, it's not being used still. And we do now have another problem of what do we do with this Metro. I think I have an answer to that. Uh, I think what I'm actually going to do is convert it for use as a tram maybe if the game lets me do that of course uh oh, it'd be really cool if i could look in and actually turn it into a light rail uh station and on this side of things remove this path here and have it dive underground and maybe even under the river and on this side of things have it swing round join up with this line here except this line here is going to be moved to inside this road and we're going to tweak this a little bit as well and we're actually going to have this section here removed where it runs along the street and it's going to become a proper light rail system with segregated stations and and all that good stuff uh, and what we do over here is we'll probably for now at least just remove that and have it link up at this end that's probably going to be a better way of doing it right what do i want to do today then well i want to start off on camera and do a little bit of live building here because I feel like I don't do a huge amount of that in this series and I feel like I should do some of that in this series just for um, the sake of you know having something a little bit different more than anything um, and the reason I'm, I'm also doing a live build here is because I want to have a look at the finance um, buildings which were added I want to say like December last year maybe even earlier than that uh, they've been around for a while. Let's put it that way. And I kind of, whoops. I kind of want to uh, to have a little play around and see what was actually added. Because I know of the pack. I have the pack. But apart from that, I don't really know what's new. Um, so I wanted to have a look and see for myself. I've really uh, messed up that bit of water there. We're probably going to end up with some city flooding going on. But never mind. Uh, I'm just going to smooth out the land here. We're going to have roads like sloping down and all sorts of things but that's fine the main thing is the the the, the sea wall or this thing here is going to act as like a flood defense and that's going to stop um the water from coming in say were the city to have a flood which hopefully we'll never have to test that theory but you just you just don't know these days uh and then yeah, we're gonna like smooth all this out as much as we possibly can. Remove as many of those contour lines. Get it looking all lovely and smooth and flat. Then we're gonna start adding some crossroads uh, into all of this. And then we're gonna start messing around with the finance buildings. So, let's, uh, come on game, behave. There we go, we'll do a little bit of digging out here, a little bit of digging out. Here. I don't mind the sheer face on this side of things because these walls go right the way down to, to bedrock and beyond basically so it's not the uh, the end of the world uh, and then on this side yeah 
I'm going to redo this as well. Something else that crossed my mind recently. Um, I was thinking about the tram on this side of things. Nothing wrong with it running up to here. This is all fine. But I think at this section here, uh, what I was going to do. So this, this platform here is going to get removed in the future anyway. My god, that's a very busy... Um, Stop. Where are my trams on that section? I don't actually know where they've gone. We don't seem to have any, which is a little bit concerning. Hopefully they will come and, and start working at some stage. That would be nice, please. Game. Um, but yeah, I was thinking of turning this wide path here into a bus lane. And actually having buses running from up here down through this bus station here. Or at least being able to get buses in and out to the north via uh, the yard south here. And then also from here, maybe even using this road or this road here to then get into Blue Shores. And have... Um, where There it is. Blue Shores bus station. Maybe having multiple routes there as well. Also this station down here, I was thinking of converting to um, light rail as well. We have 11 vehicles on this line. We just have a lot of people wanting to move around, clearly. 1,100 people there. Yeah. So transport is uh, is paramount. Alrighty. Let's start looking at connecting roads then. So definitely want connecting roads on some of these junctions here. So I think that will work well. And we're probably just going to go with the bog standard. Four lane road. Uh, preferably with bicycle lanes. There we go. And I'm not going to build them dead straight. I think what I'm actually going to do is this and then bring you around like that. And kind of have as many of these roads as possible in like this ellipsis kind of shape. This one here, I wanted to connect up to there. Don't think that's going to work now though. So we might have to get creative with this junction, possibly. It might be doable. It might be doable. We'll have to see. If I was to, let's say, uh, grab... Oh, by the way, the eyedropper tool that I was moaning about not having, I do have it. Uh, I'm just an idiot. So, yeah, there's that as well. But yeah, I think if I was able to do something like... Hmm. Like this, I guess. And then something similar with that one. Now, the defining factor here uh, is to not actually build it like that. I think what I'm going to have to do is kind of build it out like this and then somehow be able to bring that one back in. I guess like that, but then I need to remove that node, which is fine, that works. Then I need to add this street in, which is going to kind of run, actually let's not do that first, let's do the other part of this build first, which is going to be grabbing this, moving it along like that. Now I need to get the... Uh, what's going to happen is this one's going to curve that way the other one's going to curve the other way but right now it's just going to be like this maybe we can use shift to help us out with this just grab you we're going to pull you out like this and the orange one which is this one is going to go like that this one's going to go like that but then we're going to pull this one guess like this and then you're gonna come out guess like that but that's not really what I had in mind hmm this is a tricky one it might even be better let's just fix this uh, which I think would be this one yeah 
It might even be better to literally just connect it straight up like this. Could work. Could work. So I think this one we're going to just bring it down. Like that. Like that. And then over here. Like this. Easy. And then uh, we're going to remove that node. There we go. Oops. Broke the tram. Never mind. Oh, really broke the tram. So yeah, you're going to be like this. We're going to remove that tram because you are now 100% broken. And you can kind of see sort of how this is going to work. Um, might have to use move it to kind of really bend this road around. The other option, I suppose, is... Uh, okay, let's try the other option. The other option might work just as well. Just do that. And then bring this road down. Like this. And then like... Where are we? Like that, I guess. And then uh, we want these. Like that, like that. And then, yeah. Straighten these out. We want you connected there. You connected there. That looks horrendous, but it might do. Get rid of that node. That node's already gone, so that's fine. And then, yeah, you kind of see how this works. So that will come around that way, and then, yeah. You get the idea. You get how this works. Like so, and then over here again. I guess we could just pull this one out. Like that. And then for lane connectors, it should be relatively straightforward. There we go. Over here, you are left turn only. You are right turn only. It's a little bit messy, but there you go. The stop there is in a really weird position. Don't know what's happened there. That what has happened there. Something's gone a bit awry there. You are straight on. Whoa. <laughs> That's very odd. Yeah, something's definitely gone wrong here. Just remove you as well. There we go. Okay. And then, yeah, these are all connected up. Very nice, very lovely. Right. Over here, then. We're going to do a little bit more um, work with this. So, first of all, remove that node. There we are. Now we use our good old friend node controller. Actually, already, I'm thinking this is actually going to be a six laner, not a... Uh, there we are. Not a four laner. Lovely. Cool, cool, cool. Grab you, and then you are orange, and we're just going to bring you right the way back. Like so. Now, we got traffic lights here, which I guess is fine. Um, and yeah, how this is going to work. So we're going to take you back like so. You're going to be there and there. This one. Actually, this needs to be a four. Already I'm seeing that. Like so, which means you're probably going to need to be a four as well. Like so. Quite what that does over there yet, yeah, I don't know. Okay, yes. Let's just do this and then do this. 
I imagine it's going to cause a little bit of a hubbub there. Now we could use slip lanes to divert all this, but right now I think it's just going to be easier to use um, just to use the roundabout as is. So I think you're going to do something like this, and then you're going to go like that, and you're going to go like that, and then over here. You're going to go there and there. You are going to go there and there and there, maybe. And then you are going to go there and there. And then this one is going to go there and there. Is that right? Does that look right? I don't know. This one here is going to be left turn only. This one's going to be that lane, that lane. This one's going to be that lane, that lane. That to me seems okay. Uh, and then of course over here, you're going to be that one and that one. You're going to be that one and that one. And then this one here is going to be turn off only. And then here you're going to be that one and that one. And oops, there, you are going to be that one and that one. Okay. So far, so good. You're going to be stick to your lanes. You're going to be stick to your lanes. And then this one is literally going to be... You can go to all four. And you can go to all four. Because you are traffic light controlled. I feel like we might have to double up on these lanes here eventually. But right now it should be fine. Oh, hello. You aren't doing what you're supposed to do. Which is not that... What on earth is this game thinking? Uh, and then you can also go there. I'm going to say sure for that for now. It might actually be better for this one if you just turned off and you did that. Sure, let's go with that. Alrighty, and then yeah, over here again. Uh, I'm already thinking actually that. Mm, actually, no, it should be fine. It should be fine. Uh, we'll put a timed traffic light on this. For now, we'll just do it as. Oh. Try that again. Well, that didn't work. Cool. Try that again then. So, set up time traffic light, add step. This could be fairly simple. There's not going to be much to it here. So, you. Actually, let's do the roundabout first. And we'll have you be minimum of 10, maximum of 60. And more waiting than driving. Yep, that's fine. Then we're going to have this side go, but we'll do like 5.30, just because. And then this one again, and then this time we're going to go for probably the roundabout side again. So we don't want traffic to bunch up too much. And then we're going to go for this one, which again is going to be 5.30. Probably a really dumb way of doing this, to be fair, but it is what it is. All right. One other thing I want to do between here and here, I want a nice gradual incline. Please and thank you. There we are. Okay. And this is going to be the backbone, really, of our financial district. So we've got the rough layout in place. I'm now going to go and place in some streets, which means the music is going to be ramping up in just a second. And then we're going to come back and we're going to start looking at how to do financial buildings and things like that. So let's go.
All right, so here we are with the road layout. You saw I did some basic uh, lane management there as well. I'm still not 100% happy with how this looks here. I don't know if there's anything I can do to kind of reshape. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Uh, I wanted to reshape this in that direction a little bit more. There we go. And then remove the tilt. hoping it's gonna let me do for both there we go that looks a little bit neater a little bit tidier yeah I think that works a little bit better lovely okay so we've got some traffic lights up here which we could probably remove um, with the way this is laid out or maybe mm, maybe not actually but we can definitely time those there we are we can bump that up in the future I'm sure same here get these on and timed uh, and probably the same with that one same with that one same with that one and then over here I guess it would be a similar thing too uh, that one hasn't worked why is that oh because there's no traffic lights there to begin with that's why that would explain a lot uh, yeah this one I think needs traffic lights too I can't actually time them, so I guess, um, well we can't do it automatically, so I guess we'll just do it this way. So this will be, those lights there, actually those need to be changed like this, so that one will be straight on like so, and then that, and that, and that tram 2 will be on, and we'll do it for like 10, 60, there we go, and then we'll add a step which is, all of these actually turn to red actually that one can stay green and that one can go to green as well and this will be 5 and 30 there I think that will work well here comes a tram right so this uh, whole district is going to be veil point should be fairly self-explanatory shouldn't have to explain why that is but yeah veil point so we're going to mark it all out like so there will eventually be streets going right the way down to the actual tip as well but for now this will do and we'll make it go right up to the yards there and across this bit we'll cover the roundabout here as well and it's actually going to come all the way over to there there we go now there is going to be residential here but for the most part this is going to be um financial district which is yeah that's the bit i don't actually know where that stuff is is it under unique buildings pedestrian area landmarks ah there you go financial buildings so we're gonna have a a few we're gonna pop them down mainly in this southern end I think and of course I've built these so that nothing actually fits oh there we go right on the corner there that one fits and then it's all plazas and things like that so I might do some street shifting to be honest these ones here we probably don't actually need and that frees up some space Um. Where was it? Under here. So the stock exchange. I think I'm going to move there. And then we'll put some... What have you got? Bronze cow. What a weird... What a weird thing. I kind of want the stock exchange to actually sit... Maybe even on this street and have the roads either side come down. So already I'm thinking this here is going to have a little bit of a rethink. I think the stock exchange is going to sit there. Right there. Also this, Sheffield Park. Ah, like the railway station. You are Vale Point. There we go. Right now no residents. That's to be expected. Um... So yeah, we're going to redraw this. And you're basically going to go straight up 
Uh, actually, no, you're not really. You're going to kind of come more this way, like so. In like that. And then we're going to have... Uh, oops. We are going to have... Where's the one way? There it is. So you... I'm going to branch off this way and come around like that. And then you are going to branch off this way and come in like that. Now we're obviously going to use node controller and stuff to make this look nicer. This section here may even become one way as well. Because to be honest, I'm not 100% certain that needs to be... Huh. Yeah, I've just had another thought. Let's remove you. Let's make this a bit more roundabouty, shall we? Now, do we have access to... I think it will come under this. It might not exist. I'm looking for like a three or four lane one-way street that will have trees. So that's a six lane one-way road. That's a bit too much. Yeah, that's a bit too much. Uh, so it'll probably come under this side. And I'm, I'm thinking we don't have it. So it might have to just be a two-way. Or a two-lane, sorry. Not two-way. Uh, and we'll have to hope for the best. It should be fine. It should be fine. It's pretty obvious when you get to here which way traffic is going to be turning anyway. So shouldn't be a huge surprise. But yeah, the stock exchange is now going to have to be offset slightly. Which again is not the end of the world. If I was to now build from here we can come around like that and in like so and already again whoops just open a video that I didn't mean to there we go uh, already this is not quite what I had in mind so let's fix that there we go and then from here I guess something similar shaped like that. It's not quite gone to plan, but again, move it is your friend at that point. There we go. There we go. All right. So yeah, I think we'll have the stock exchange on one side, which will probably be, I mean, it's stock exchange does still fit like there. And I was going to put the International Trade Building on the other side. But again, I've kind of painted myself into a corner with how I've built these roads. Let's try again, shall we? So we're going to come out like half a block, maybe. Ish. Then we'll come around like that. And then we should be able to go in. We'll do it in that shape. That's fine. And then the same thing here, come out just over half a block, maybe to like there. And then from here it'll come around like so, and then in, yeah, like that. Bit better, bit better. Now we should be able to fit stock exchange, yeah, easily in here. There we are. And then the... Uh, what's this? The International Trade Building on the other side. Like that. We might even get a fit a bronze cow or something or a bronze panda in the middle. Which would be nice. Or we can just build a footpath, which I'm also thinking would be nice. It's not going to let me do it quite like that. but I mean, it will if I turn on Anarchy. Yeah, I mean, we could do that, right? That works. That works well. Alrighty. Now over here, uh, node controller. You are going to go level with that, like so. Which will mean having to remove a node from there in a second. I'm going to straighten you out like that. We'll do something similar on this side. You are going to go level with that one. And then we're going to hit uh, that. 
And yeah, for the blue, we can pull that in like this. Uh, and also the red. Yeah, we can move the red and actually the orange. We'll have to come back a little bit. But we need to fix this side of things first. We're going to do you and we're going to do you. There we are. Something similar over here. Red, we're going to pull back slightly. And blue, we're going to pull back slightly. Now, if I do my old lane management, actually, even here, let's uh, work on this side too. We're going to do this, and then we're going to pull red back. You could probably do them all at like 25. The only one that doesn't need to be 25 is that one. Okay. I know, it kind of looks good and it kind of doesn't look good. But I'm sure it's fine, right? <laughs> I can't imagine it's going to be bad. But yeah, you can go straight on like that. You can do that. Uh, actually, no, you do this. And you do that. And you. I'm not going to put a street there, actually. That's, that's not a good idea. I'd rather have this end as a dead end like this. Right, you're going to stay in your lanes like that. Over here, you are going to go this way. And then you are going to go there, there, and there. This one is going to go there, 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 and there. And then you are going to go there, and you are going to go there. I can't think of a reason why traffic won't be able to just loop around if it's coming from here to here, for example, or even just use this road over here, because that will work too. Over here, you are going to be stay on, you are going to be, whoops, go this way, or this way, or I guess this way, sure. You are going to be able to go in all directions. Um, you are going to be that way or that way. And you are going to be that way or that way. And then you are going to be that way, that way, that way, that way, that way. Node controller, do your thing. How do we want this junction to look? There's a question. I guess what we want is you to kind of line up more with that one. Or do we want you to line up with that one? Actually, that one I think would work better. And then you to line up with that one. And then do something like this. We also kind of want this road here to come in more from this angle. and get this to work kind of like that but then this one here needs to straighten up a little bit more what I'm not a fan of is the lack of trees here now but I guess that's something we could do that That works, and on this side we could even do that. Right, return to this, do this. Hey, there you go, that works better. And then we can turn off the, um, turn off that one. Just have you do that. And kind of a similar thing here where you don't turn that way anymore. Good. Turn those on and then turn those off again. There we go. And then from here, you do that, you do that. I think that will work well. And then obviously you would be straight on like so. And then over here, um, you would be stay on the roundabout. You would be 
turn off the roundabout uh, and then you would be that one and that one you would be that one and then this one will just be go on to the roundabout turn off the lights there turn on give way which would look something more like this this one here again you don't need traffic lights for it I know we had traffic lights we don't need them anymore stop remove turn off traffic lights and then yeah you can just be give way and with the lanes that's all fine over here then I think we're actually going to do something similar so you're going to be stay on roundabout you're going to be turn off roundabout you're going to be only turn off roundabout and you're going to be actually I might have it that you can go I'm not going to have it so that you can go I'm just going to do this Turn off that like so, and then you're going to give way, you're going to give way. It kind of makes sense, I think. And then over here, I don't know what the priority is going to be for this, because there's going to be all kinds of stuff going on here. So I think this one, we do need a timed traffic light. So add a step, you are just going to be a green light which I think is what this one here is going to be as well you are going to be this because that's your shape and then you are going to be that because that's your shape so let's say 10 60 I'm going to try and be strategic here actually I think I'm just going to have you as green probably just going to have all of these as, as just this to be honest so you're going to be green first and we're going to add a step which is going to be this one but we're going to halve you like so add add a step which is going to be this one which is going to be double again and then add a step which is going to be this one which is going to be half again I'm sure that's going to work it's probably going to result in quite a lot of uh, waiting around but it is what it is and then yeah from here whoops from here we're going to have two roads also coming down here that are going to meet at a point as well it's a shame we haven't got more people traveling through here right now. Because that would be cool. As for what's going in this area here, I think what we do is we use Move It to kind of bring these buildings a little bit closer together. So we kind of do something a bit more like that. And then we can probably get some offices or something on there or a plaza or something. Uh, likewise, we could do the elevated plaza directly opposite one of these buildings. And then we could do the underground plaza. Actually, would that fit better? I think that would fit better in here. If I just remove that street. And then use anarchy like so. I like the look of that. I think that works well. So, in terms of zoning, I think all of this northern bit up here is going to be residential. And then south of this street here is going to be all office. I think that will work well. However, something else that's bugging me is the fact that this road here is zonable. And I don't think that's a good idea. So, I'm going to... D zone that road and I'm going to do it using this which I'm hoping is going to work yes there we go now it will mean I have to come through and um, do all the lanes and stuff again but there are worse things than having to do that again 
be honest, some of these I could probably remove the nodes on as well. Uh, you. Where have you gone? There. I can actually do it without having to uh, change the road type first, which feels new. I'm sure that didn't used to be the case. Maybe it did. Maybe I'm just being dumb. I don't know. All right, so I'm going to go in now and zone some of these buildings, uh, or zone some of these roads, sorry, I should say. And then we're going to come back later on and uh, sum up this episode, hopefully. So let's get to it. All right, we are back again, and uh, yeah, things are looking good. We've got Veil Point here set up now. We've got housing springing up left, right, and center, although some of it is gonna grind to a halt momentarily um, because I've got it set so that uh, we don't do any building overnight. I am tempted to change these roads here to elevated just to make it look a little less derpy. Also, things like this, I kind of want to change the angle so that it is more like this. Just so that these... Let's try and do something a bit more like this as well. Just so these buildings don't look ridiculously stupid built on hillsides, um, which is easier said than done. I mean, this one here doesn't look as bad, although the front door is miles up in the air. Might have to do some, some jigging around there. Also, the fire station not being powered is something I'm a little bit nervous about as well. So we'll probably have to go and fix that at some point. And are you set up now? Yes, you are. Good stuff. I'm going to also remove these nodes here. That lifts it up a little bit more. To be honest, I think it's just a case of, with this one especially, like reciting the building a little bit. Although, I've just spotted something. Um, you. Don't appear to be a... Connected building anymore. A uh, connected road anymore. There we go. Now I should be able to place you again. Maybe if I place it down a little bit further. Must be somewhere I can squeeze this in. I could squeeze it in there, but I kind of want it on the main road. Uh, I could do it there, I suppose, but then that blocks some stuff on the other side. I, I wanted stuff on this main road here. There we go. Shift you there. 
that works better. And then we can re-designate these areas here like so and like so. Lovely stuff. Nice. So yeah, people are starting to move in. Houses are springing up. You can see here they're coming underneath to their new homes. Uh, the traffic lights here appear to be working as well. We've got tractors. Where are you going? I guess you're going home at the end of the day, which I guess is fine. Um, I would like to move this police station as well, actually. Um, you might work better sort of over here on the corner. Like that. There we go. And then again, we can sort out buildings and stuff over here and just make it look a little bit more attractive. Right. Um, so there's a couple more things I'd like to do today before we wrap up. One of which is transport. Uh, now I'm tempted to put a bus station in. I was going to put one like here, but that might not be the best place for it. There's another option which is over here. And then you can have buses radiating out. So you can have one over to uh, Blue Shores, one up to the yards, so on and so forth. So I need to decide what's going to go in this part of the city. But I feel like there's going to be a road from Vale Point here that will actually go underneath uh, this avenue. And then we'll go into this area and then we'll end up joining up over there as well. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of torn as to where to put things. You're not powered now, which is a bit concerning. The main thing is the hospital's powered. Although there's no one here yet to, to need it. And also the fire station is now powered. I'm going to set you up as well with, I guess, that one. Over here, you're going to be... Uh, da -da -da -da. Have we got police fans? Whoops. Maybe the Range Rover. Oh, there we go. Police fan. And you are going to be... I guess the box ambulance still keep that trend going the other option for the bus was to have it down here but i don't think we have any bus stations that would fit with a road actually this one would if we had a road that came literally straight down or we just connected up like that but that looks stupid and i wanted a designated road to actually come down here right to the very tip even if it just branches off here, comes down like this, scooches round and back up, and then we just turn this into a plaza or a metro station or something. I don't know yet, but could actually have that as a dead-end tram and have two separate lines. One go that way, one go that way. There's an option too. Um, so yeah, where the, where the bus is going to go, it's a good question. We could even just put it on this road here. What have we got? That's a compact bus station. It doesn't fit. It's the annoying thing. Oh, it does fit there, though. So if I stuck you there, and if we had an intercity bus station opposite, that works. That works. And you could be Vale Point bus station. Whoops. And then you could be uh, Vale Point Intercity bus station. Which is probably going to have loads of traffic coming into it eventually. But right now, probably not a huge amount, to be honest. Now, I am hoping that as these houses that here develop, we don't have any commercial in this area. That's what the yards and blue shores is for. So people should be taking public transport to get to and from those. I'm also hoping um, that offices will start springing up soon because people will need to work somewhere. That's what I'm hoping for. Whether or not that ends up happening, I don't know. Also, uh, that we need to cut back. And actually, this one here we need to cut back as well. We should be able to place some offices here, like so, and even to an extent there, although not there not there that should work too i'm a big fan of how this is looking it's very unconventional but in a good way if that makes sense do we have people on the tram now we do which is cool yeah i would like to do something with this but i still don't know what um yeah we'll have to decide at some point 
And yeah, everything else is uh, is coming together quite nicely. So I think we're about done for this episode. I kind of feel like there's more that I could be doing in this episode, but I don't really know what. I suppose that street there could connect up. Like, I'm just looking for, uh, for excuses to keep building now, which I suppose is kind of okay. Uh, can I do it like this? I mean, that looks stupid as anything, doesn't it? Let's have another crack at this, shall we? There we go. Now we can... Oops. Do some clicking there. Lovely stuff. Uh, so yeah, connecting roads and things. We could build pathways or other connecting roads that go between these. It kind of does look a little gritty. Which I was trying to avoid with this city. But as you can see, I've kind of failed to an extent. Um, I'm also really tempted to, to redo this. So you see here where it's come down from the... Well, it comes down to ground level and then runs across. I'm actually going to redo it so it stays elevated. I'm also going to move these lanes closer together so that these outside ones are going to stay where they are, but they're going to be more elevated. The inner ones, the motorway lanes, they're going to move outwards and we're going to have loads more rail lines and that should hopefully allow us to have more... There you go, look. Passenger service last 10 minutes, 6. So I think we have got intercity trains coming in. I just don't know which ones, if that makes sense. I don't think we'll ever see them. I don't know if we have enough that I would catch them. That's the thing. I don't know. But yeah, uh, whatever I was saying just now, I want to do that. Um, I am off camera going to upgrade this road here to bus lanes. And I might also start rerouting this tram now. Just to get it done. I kind of want to see what happens when this small tram reaches the end of the line. Because we don't seem to have any running in the opposite direction which is interesting so let me just speed up time a second just want to see what happens when this tram reaches the end otherwise though uh there's still lots to do in this part of the city there's still lots of little things here and there that need tweaking but for the most part we're in a pretty good place with uh with blue veil right now i'm, I'm kind of happy with how things are going oh it was i was talking about railways wasn't i so yeah eventually this this light rail here uh, there will be a station around here, but it will be a metro station with the track converted. And this will remain as is. So it will all be out in the open like this. But here it will dive underground and then go into that station. And then it will continue under the river. I think that will look really cool. So yeah, do you reverse? Do you despawn? I don't know what happens here. Oh, you reversed. That's fine. And then here. Okay. I just want to see what happens at this next stop. Because we've got lots of people waiting. Hopefully, uh, in the not-too-distant future, we'll have lots of people on the other line as well. And I anticipated having lots of people on that line, which is why I use the larger-sized vehicles. But right now, we don't have anyone really using the line. So it's a bit of a waste of money, sadly. Right, here we go. So you're going to stop. Yeah, 53 passengers on board. Lovely. And then follow this around. So yeah, this tram section here will get rerouted as well. It'll actually be another uh, pathway like this. The other reason I wanted to, to elevate all this is to link these sides up a little bit more and actually have them go from one to the other because I think that would look cool. And here we go into the stop. There we are. And stop. And we're probably going to fill up to max at this point. There we go. 200. Alrighty, so I was tempted as well to have free, oh my god that's loud, to have free public transport uh, in the centre of the city here. That might still end up being a thing, but right now, actually did I choose it? Pretty sure I didn't. Uh, no, it was. if I were to do it, it would be to get more people to actually use the trams. But hopefully, having these where they are now... Having all these buildings and things um, where they are and also not having any commercial in this area means if people want leisure and things like that, they're going to have to hop on a tram or a bus or, you know, get a taxi, which we don't actually have either right now. We don't have any taxis. Uh, this, the Vale building, I kind of want to convert this into an actual office building. It says it provides a tax income bonus to nearby financial district office buildings. Now, yeah, is that that's the other thing. Have I... 
failed to paint. Does it come under this? Ah, there we go. Financial office building. That's what I want. So everything in here is a financial office building. There should be a symbol. There it is. A symbol for it. And also with this. Uh, Self-sufficient, no. Wall to wall. Let's go with that. Also over here, we want self-sufficient for uh, for blue shores. Yeah. And then the yards, we want... Uh, oh. Has that not been painted? I never painted the middle. That was interesting. Ha! Huh. Alrighty then, folks. I think that will do it for this episode. Like I said, um, I will try and... Uh, oh. Do we actually have any... Yeah, we do have buses coming in. That's exciting as well. Look at that. So we're going to see these roads getting used a lot more now as well, which is fantastic. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I am going to sort of do some tweaks and stuff like I just said. I'm going to maybe move some other buildings around. I'm going to watch this grow because it's always going to be good to see how the uh, this part of the city develops. I think that's the residential specialization that's causing this problem right now. Uh, the population was growing as well, so that's kind of annoying. But um, yeah, things should... I didn't actually see what I'd done there. Let me just check that. So I chose wall to wall. Modern residential wall to wall buildings. Probability of fire starting in these buildings is reduced. Fire spreads more easily from building to building. Hopefully we don't have fires to even worry about. But if we do, then yeah, having them not spread as much would be nice indeed. Uh, also, this tram here is going to get removed in the future. It's just going to become a light rail system. In fact, this is probably going to be the one It'll come down this way, and then here it'll go around like that and end up over at Blue Shores. That seems like a plan to me. And it'll run through the center of a new avenue here, um, where I'm just going to move the, the streets further apart. And in doing that, hopefully, I will um, create like a plaza all the way down this main road. And it might even spread to this section as well what happens over here right now i think this is going to be like a residential area i believe on the plan so um, we're going to have like junctions and stuff like that and what i will do in the next few episodes as well is we're going to start expanding over into this area this is going to be purely residential uh, as well um, and then we're going to start looking at adding other motorway junctions as well so there'll be one sort of around this area so for traffic heading in these directions this one here isn't actually complete yet that will be completed and we'll be looking at adding some here and eventually we'll get to the national park here as well but for now folks thank you very much for watching excuse me don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and of course if you're enjoying the series so far drop those comments down below with ideas for future episodes and also feel free to leave feedback on the current episodes as well if you wish Besides that, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out. If you have already subscribed to the channel, thank you guys for your continued support. Enjoy the rest of your uh, evening. And until next time, I will see you soon.